Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So before I move on to give explanation for this question, so kindly go over the question and answer this question by yourself. Now the question is about uh, acute lymphocytic leukemia. So and uh, one of the drug that is used in chemotherapeutic regimen that is mentioned in this particular uh, stem is uh, 6 mercaptopurin. So the question is about uh, metabolic product of this particular drug has got an inhibitory effect on which one of the following enzyme inhibitory effect uh, take a note on that now 6 mercaptopurin it is going to compete with uh, purine um, derivatives like hypoxanthine or it will compete with uh, guanine note that hypoxanthine and guanines this can be used by an enzyme called uh, hypoxanthine guanine phosphoribosyl transferase which is simply re uh, referred as hgprt now so uh, 6 mercaptopurin it is going to compete with hypoxanthine or guanine for HGPRT enzyme. So if 6 mercaptopurin uh, binds to HGPRT, so what this HGPRT enzyme does, it is going to convert 6 mercaptopurin uh, into uh, its metabolic product and this is basically activation of pro, pro drug into an active drug. And this metabolic product of 6 mercaptopurin, it is a thioinosine monophosphate, that is TIMP. So, thioinosine monophosphate is the metabolic product of 6 mercaptopurin, uh, which is uh, done by HGPRT enzyme itself. What this thioinosine monophosphate does, that is TIMP does. Now, the thioinosine monophosphate, it is going to inhibit one of the purine uh, re synthesis uh, regulatory enzyme that is a glutamine phosphoribosyl amidotransferase. Now the glutamine phosphoribosyl amidotransferase is the key regulatory enzyme in purine uh, de novo purine biosynthesis and this particular enzyme is inhibited by TIMP which is a metabolic product of 6 mercaptopurin. And also six, uh, TIMP has got an inhibitory effect on other two enzymes in uh, purine nucleotide biosynthesis and those are IMP dehydrogenase, inositol monophosphate dehydrogenase which will take IMP into XMP and XMP later into GMP. On the other side, um, uh, thioinositol monophosphate also inhibits uh, adenylosuccinate synthetase enzyme which will take uh, IMP into AMPS and then into AMP formation. So overall uh, thioinositol monophosphate it has got inhibitory effect on uh, three enzymes. One is the main enzyme in purine nucleotide biosynthesis that is a glutamine phosphoribosyl amidotransferase and other two enzymes are IMP dehydrogenase and adenylosuccinate synthetase enzymes. Now other choices in this particular question glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase is an enzyme in pentose phosphate pathway and that is not inhibited by 6 mercaptopurin PRPP synthetase enzyme it is involved in synthesis of PRPP so which is not directly inhibited by 6 mercaptopurin HMG CoA synthase is a cholesterol biosynthesis enzyme and xanthine oxidase is a enzyme that degrades purines into uric acid now note that uh, whenever a person uh, takes 6 mercaptopurin, so the 6 mercaptopurin it is uh, oxidized, it is uh, metabolized uh, into degradative products, it is uh, broken down into, um, uh, into it breaks, uh, xanthine oxidase is going to break down 6 mercaptopurin and it helps in the elimination of 6 mercaptopurin from our body. So whenever there is a, a drug that is used to inhibit xanthine oxidase for whatever the reason. Usually we, we are going to inhibit xanthine oxidase enzyme in uh, treatment of gout by using allopurinol. Now when you use allopurinol to inhibit uh, xanthine oxidase to thereby decreasing uh, uric acid in the gout at the same time uh, if the person is also taking 6 mercaptopurin so you got to be careful there because 6 mercaptopurin uses xanthine oxidase for the catabolism for uh, again, our body uses xanthine oxidase uh, to get uh, get rid of 6 mercaptopurin so the detoxification process of 6 mercaptopurin needs xanthine oxidase if the person is on allopurinol 
at that time uh, the dosage of 6 mark captopurine has to be lowered or it has to be decreased so that uh, toxic effects of 6 mark captopurine can be prevented so that can also be a question so this question you can use it in two way that is 6 mark captopurine uh, should not be used in uh, patient who are receiving allopurinol for treatment of gout that's one area another area is uh, metabolic product of 6 mark captopurine is going to inhibit uh, enzymes that are involved in uh, de novo biosynthesis of purine that is glutamine phosphorabacil amidotransferase and other two enzymes that are inhibited is uh, IMPD androgenase and adenylosuccinate synthetase enzyme. I hope this question has uh, helped you in understanding uh, mechanism of sigma captopurine and the uh, areas where uh, questions related to this can be asked relate, uh, in biochemistry for uh, USMLE step 1 exam and uh, other kinds of competitive exams. So that's all about it and uh, I have given uh, video links about uh, purine synthesis, degradation, regulation of purines and uh, pyrimidines uh, in the description below. Take a note of that um, just in case if you are looking for these videos and see you in my other video. Thanks for watching.